Hello there. Hope you know that when you design with Photoshop and you design heavy banners, it's going to be very difficult for you to navigate around Photoshop doing sizes like 3x4, 4x5, 5x5, 8x8, 12x10, billboards for instance. It's very, very difficult. So, but here's a prototype. I discovered this. You can actually design in inches size. And to do that, you could just resize your document to the exact ratio that you want to design on. Just go to the image menu, image size, or you can simply press Ctrl Alt I. And there you have the width seven, the height five. For instance, the design I did for a client is seven by five. Here's what's going on here. It's in inches and not in feet. The client has requested that it be in feet. But I have to do the design in inches so as to save my memory in Photoshop. I mean, of course, you know what I'm talking about. So here I am, I've done this design and I'm through this design. And this client say, fine, send me the file to print, the printable file. Most clients call it raw file anyway, but never mind. So they say, send me the printable file or the raw file. Okay, so let's use their language. If you send seven by five inches, the design will look so small when it comes in their program they use. Most Printers use uh, CorelDRAW to print. I think majority of the printers, especially if you're Nigerian, use CorelDRAW to print. And so when they drop this in their CorelDRAW, it will not show seven by five feet. Rather, it will show exactly seven by five inches. So here's how what I do. I just come over here and press times 12. And so Photoshop automatically increases the size of this file to seven times 12 and because this is linked you must allow this to be linked lock so when i change the value here it corresponds here and five times 12 is 60 and so 12 inches actually make one feet voila see what i'm saying so we increase the size but this should only be done after the design has been approved if you do this before the design is approved or there are changes you want to make when the design has been approved you definitely know you're not going to get through with that because it's going to be very heavy and this is going to take a lot of time to blow up the size but make sure these are the first things you need to make sure that first the entire design except for this my link which i placed here let me just delete that the entire design is converted into a smart object just right click and convert to a smart object this way no object gets to be you know stretched out more than the other so every object is converted into this very particular layer called smart object. Of course, you know what to do when you want to go inside to edit. You just right click and edit content. But once you have converted this to smart object, and like I've labeled it seven by five feet, but it's not a feet yet because it's still in inches. Actually, if you want to see that, oh, my mouse. Okay. You want to see that? You see that seven inch, seven, five inch. The width is seven and the height is five. So what you do is you go to image again, image size, and here you say multiplied by 12. So 12 inches make one feet, get that. But this resolution, if it is 300 for as big as this file size, is going to be too much and too heavy to transport, maybe over the mail or over WhatsApp as document. So you definitely want to reduce this, but don't reduce it lower than 150. Sometimes you could reduce it and you still have another option to reduce it somewhere else. And you know that could also add to the loss of quality. So, but if you reduce it anything uh, above 200, it's fine. 200 is fine. So for this uh, file, because it's seven by five, if it were to be 10 by 10 or 12 by 10, I would do 150. And there are cases where I even do 100 because the banner is very big. Okay, so I'll do 200, and I click OK. And there we are. So you see. It zooms the images very close to me. All right, so you see the size is blown now. And when you check here, it's now 84 inches. So this is exactly seven by five feet. And now you can export. But you know what? I don't always use the file export and export as option because it's also gonna be heavy for this guy to process. So what I do is save a copy. So when I say save a copy, I have the option to choose JPEG and so I just change here to JPEG, the first JPEG, please. And so I can then save. And so when it's saving, it's gonna give me a dialog box where I have to choose, definitely it's gonna merge all the layers. 
Yeah. Then it's going to give me the option where I choose the quality of the object. The quality of the file, please. Right? So here, uh, there's a high quality 9. Uh, sometimes if you wait for it, it's going to load up the size of the object when it's done. When it's converted, when it's like saved in your folder it's going to load up the size of the object and sometimes it takes a whole lot of time but i always have a way of guessing around like this is the quality 9 and 19.6 megabytes that's way too big for some persons some printers will tell you that's too much just make it anything 3 megabytes to 10 megabytes okay so and for you to reduce this megabyte you just have to reduce the quality don't think that okay if i reduce it to very low quality it will lose its quality yeah anything lower than 3 can make it lose but i'm just going to keep it around 5 yeah, they're about and let's see if we can wait for it to load up the value of this five i'm sure it'll be around 10 around there about this is very easy for printers to handle and some persons complain of data you know yeah so we're waiting 9.2 mb so that's fine then you can click ok and definitely definitely i'm gonna load coral draw and we're gonna test this right we really need to be sure that this is exactly seven by five feet okay so we're loading coral draw 2020 okay there we are so we're going to just load the coral draw and we're going to choose here for feet and put seven here and put five here and then click okay Okay, then we're gonna import our guy. Oh, we didn't really see. Check where we exported it. To. All right, don't worry. We'll find it one way or the other. Okay, should have been designed. No, not here. Not here. Let's check again. When we say save a copy. Where did it go to? Oh, it went to the design folder. All right, so we're going back to that place. I know where it is now. So I go to. Tools, clients, general clients, design folder, and there you are. So it's loading. I'm not going to resize it, I'm not going to draw to drop it, I'm just going to press enter. Exactly. You see? Exactly. Exactly. So we got it so but what if you were going to export something lower than that okay so let's go back to the resizing now and here we say divided by 12 and click okay mm, looks more right and now we use a uh, same method save a copy choose jpeg the first one please and we'll say copy two this time two saving okay even if we blow the quality because right now you know it's in the inches and so to look at the size 31 kilobyte so let's blow the quality up to 12 1.6 mb mm, very small okay so let's go back to uh, here we have it copy two see that now we import it and press enter same way you can see how small it is and exactly when you change this to inches and select it you have seven five inches that's inches so when you select this, you have it 4 by 60. So I hope you enjoy this. Come on, subscribe. I know you like this and you like more tips. You can always ask me on the comment section anything you want to know about Photoshop or want to work with Photoshop. Also check out my courses on Photoshop Basics. It will also help you. And until next time, keep cool. Peace out.